Hi, it's Andy here at Fotech Video. And once again, I'm lucky to be accompanied by the wonderful one who is going to be our model here in the studio today. Don't forget to check out her Instagram page, which you can see right here on the screen. So today's session is going to be a little bit different. In the last video, I used a number of flashes to get the desired effect which I wanted in the session. However, today I'm going to use continuous light and as little as possible. And on top of that, this session is going to be very special because I'm using my Sony ZV-E10 coupled with a 35mm f1.7 security video surveillance camera lens. So I want to see what kind of quality we can get from using an entry-level mirrorless camera together with a super, super cheap lens which was not intended for this type of shoot. Stick around until the end of the video where I will put up some of the edited photos taken in this session. But what you're going to be seeing during the video is the rear screen of my Sony ZV-E10. So what you can actually see here is not the rear screen of my Sony ZV-E10, as you can see here, but actually the HDMI output of that screen, which is here, being picked up on the Axoon Cineview Nano and transmitted to a mobile phone, which I have set up next to the camera. So looking here at the screen, we can see just a very faint outline of one. The reason for this is because we're going to be using continuous lights. Uh, so things are a little bit different, but we're going to begin as always by taking a completely or almost black photo. Remember that here in the studio, I have two LED lights which are turned on so that you can see everything that's happening in this video. Without them, you wouldn't be able to see us. So what I've done is I have reduced my settings to be able to eliminate this ambient light so that even though we can just see a little outline of one, the lights themselves are not affecting any part of her. And if we change our setting, we will be able to see how that is actually true. So if we move down our shutter speed, we can see bit by bit that one appears. I forgot to mention at the beginning, this lens is a fully manual lens. It is not autofocus, it's fully manual. And to help me with that fully manual, I have the focus peaking turned on. So we can see here that the ambient light is actually picking up one and we can see her in the live view on the camera. But we don't want that. We want to change this so that we don't see her at all. So we're going to move it up, make it faster and faster until the light in one's eye completely disappears. I don't mind seeing a little bit of her in the outline, but we want her, the light in her eyes to completely disappear. And there we have it. You can see that little by little she is disappearing until we get to uh, one four hundredth of a second and we can just see an outline. I'm going to take it up a little bit more even still so that it's one five hundredth of a second just to round things up. Now we are completely controlling the ambient light and these LED lights, which are our studio lights, are not affecting one's eyes at all or any part of her. That means that the light which we add now needs to be strong enough to be able to be picked up at one five hundredth of a second. Now the f-stop value is controlled not on the camera but on the lens itself and it's set to the maximum aperture which is f 1.7. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk across here. Now one, I want you to close your eyes please or at least not look at this light because when I turn this light on it's going to be quite bright. So let's go back here and see now we can see one illuminated. Now I have nothing else to change here. So let's just recap again. So we're on an f1.7 aperture. Our shutter speed is 1 500th of a second and our ISO value is 50. So all the light that we can see now in this image, in this live view, is coming from this LED light on one. So one, if you can just look a little bit down here in this direction, just look in this direction here so we can see and just move your head slightly this way 
Okay, so we're gonna take a photo now. So let's make sure then that this is completely in focus. As you can see, the focus peaking is giving me nice red around the eyes. I don't want one to get tired eyes from looking at the lead. So let's go now and let's take that and there we go. All right, so if I turn off the focus peaking here for a moment, you can see that the photo is perfectly in focus and there we have it okay now i think we need to add just a little bit more light unfortunately i don't have a remote control this is the colbor cl 100 xm led light uh, and i'm actually on 25 percent at the moment so i'm going to turn it up to 30 and let's see if that now gives us enough light to be able to illuminate the hair of one in fact i'm going to move it up a little bit so that we can get a nicer look yeah so there we are the light is now above her and it looks like we're going to be in luck so here we go one are we ready and one two three and there we go this photo with just a 17 euro lens and that's not bad at all eh? Bear in mind that the more light we get into this photo, the better the focus is going to be. I think what we're going to do, one, is we're going to give you a chair or a little stool in a moment so that you're going to be able to sit down, but not for a moment. So let's leave that just there and let's try and take a better photo than what we've got. We still need to get some more light on this side, but we don't want one to be blinded by this LED, which is so close to her. So let's turn it up again. It's time to 35. I think we're actually getting there. And yeah, that is certainly looking a lot nicer. So we can see that that light is actually creating a Rembrandt look triangle on the other side of her face. We're going to fill in the other side of her face in a moment, but let's take one using this particular lighting setup. And yes, we can see there then that we have this triangle created by shadow coming across her nose from that light which is up high above her and pointing down. And that's very nice. But what I'd like to see is a little bit more three-dimensional. Let's get some fill light in the other side, on the other side of one, and see if we can create an even better effect. So we're going to take this reflector carefully without knocking things over. We're going to put it on the other side of her. And immediately we can see that this side of her face is being filled in. So let's bring that up a bit. And also here. And now we can see that that light is creating a fill light on the other side as well. So one, if you can look between the monitor and the camera, more or less, and give me one of your wonderful, interesting expressions. Okay, and are we ready? Okay, so let's turn that focus peaking off so that we can take a better look at it. We were having a good laugh there, eh? <laughs> That's not one of my best photos. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to ask one to look in the opposite direction. So if you can look more or less up here, all right? And as I ask you to turn your head, turn a bit more and a bit more. Okay, and now lower it a little bit, that's it. Okay, now look penetratingly, please, in that direction, but very strongly. Okay, and there we go. All right, so you can see again then that yes, we are in focus. Let's move this around just a little bit more so that it fills in a bit more on this side. And I think I'm also going to move the other light a little bit further forward as well, like that. Okay, so let's see what we're getting now. Are your eyes okay, one? All right, good. Yeah. So always make sure that your model is comfortable. That's why I'm going to give her a stool in a moment to be able to sit down. Okay, so let's turn this up then to 40%. 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40%, 40
still not a lot considering eh, that this is just one LED light which is illuminating one in a completely black photo frame. So 40% on this particular cobalt light and I think that's looking good. So I'm going to ask one to look directly at the camera and let's see how this lighting now affects her. We can see there's a beautiful Rembrandt lighting triangle here and from what I can see, the other side is correctly illuminated. So let's turn on those focus peaking. Let's just increase that focus just a little bit. Get a bit sharper. There we go. Okay, so directly at the camera, directly at the lens, and with a little bit of anger. Just loosen that mouth a little bit. Okay, loosen it a little bit. Ah, that's it, perfect. And with just a little bit of anger in your look. And there we go. And we can see that is an absolutely perfect Rembrandt lighting effect. So I'm going to move in the reflector just a little bit more uh, so that it stays out of frame, but it does give even more lighting on the other side. Let's turn on that focus peaking and let's move this in until it's in frame. So it's still not in frame yet. And we can see that we have filled in a little bit more one side of her face. So we're gonna bring this like that and like that. And it's still out of shot. And yes, we've got a lovely three-dimensional look now. So let's give that another try then one. Are you ready? Okay, turn off that focus peaking. And you can see that this part of her face which before was not illuminated, is now illuminated. You see this around here. Okay, now these photos have all been taken at f1.7. And as you know, even the best lenses in the world do not give the most in-focus photos at their biggest aperture. So I think what we need to do is to close this down a little bit and see if we can get some better in focus shots with this. Now the thing is I have absolutely no idea between f1.7 and f16 where it actually is because the way the lens is fixed onto my adapter onto my camera the, the markings for the f-stop are underneath and I can't see where it is so I'm just gonna have to wing it here and see what I can get. Now if that is f16 and that is f1.7 then maybe this is about f4 f5.6 maybe okay so in theory this should be sharper but as you can see the light on one has decreased so we need to increase more the intensity of the led to be able to bring it back up to what we had previously. So please don't look at the light one. Okay. And we are now on 80% uh, and it's still running a little bit short. I think it's still a little underexposed. So I'm going to try it on full and see what happens here. Okay. So there we are then. We're on 100%. This is the best I can get. I can change this just a little bit more to get a little bit more light in and maybe we're on f4 f5 here so i think that's looking pretty good so one what i'm going to ask you to do now is to look across more or less in this direction here that's absolutely superb okay and i'm going to focus in there so we can see focus on your hair that's also there so loosen then the, the lips and get a nice strong look in this direction. Are we ready? One, two, three. And let's turn off that focus peaking and see whether we have better focus now than we did before. And yes, we do. Look at that. Yeah, You can see that the focus there is much better than it was before. And we can also see that she has catch lights in both of her eyes. Okay, so I'm going to ask one to move a little bit further back so that we don't have just a portrait head of her. Eh? So if you can move back further and let's see what we can see in the camera. 
Okay, and even a little bit more. All right, okay. And, and I'm going to drop this down just a little bit here. Okay, like that. Okay, so what do I need to do now? Well, obviously move the lights with her because as she's moved away, the intensity of those lights has gone. And, all right, so let's get that there. And let's move the reflector as well to be at a similar level. Now we may find that because she's further back, we can see these in the photo. No, we can't at the moment. So let's move them further in, like that. Are you okay? Good. And also, let's move this further in like that to be able to fill in there. And let's look in our monitor. And um, we can see, we can see the white reflector there. All right, so let's move that out a little bit. Okay, should be out of shot now. And there it is, out of shot. So what we've got here then, we can see that because I moved the light further in, and because this light is using a seven inch reflector, that reflector is concentrating the light in one direction. So what we can see is the light is hitting the wall halfway across the frame. So I'm going to try to solve that by bringing the light further forward. Like that. Okay. And now we can see that the light behind one on this particular side is more uniform, but we are getting a shadow from her because of where that light is. So how can I move that shadow away? Okay, so what I'm going to do then is put on this little diffuser onto the front. But to do that, I've just tried before and I can't, so I'm going to have to lower it down because I couldn't reach up enough to get it. And there we go. So let's bring it up again like that. And now we can see that shadow behind one is a lot softer. So it's still there, but it is definitely a lot softer. So I'm gonna move this in then until we get enough light on her, but without having it in the shot. And I'm also going to give a little bit more light on one by opening up the lens a little bit more because because I don't want to have too much light on her. Are you okay with that light one? Yep. Okay, so let's give it a try. If you want to do your own thing now and sort of like move around, get the looks that you want, and I'm going to take some photos. Are we ready? Okay. All right. Okay, and let's just take a look at one of those to see whether we are actually getting the focus we want. And no, we're not. Okay, so something has gone wrong here. The focus peaking was telling me that the focus was correct, but for some reason it isn't in focus. So let's put that back on again and see how we can... Now, in theory, this should be a little better focused. So let's give it a try. Are we ready, one? Okay, let's try one more time and see then if that is better focused. And, yep, it's definitely a better focused. Now, one of the characteristics of this lens, and you'll be able to see a previous video, which is linked in up here about this lens, is that it has different focus across the same focal plane. So even if one is looking directly at the camera, one part of her face may be in focus and another part may be out of focus, okay? So this lens, as I say, is not intended for portrait photography, but it certainly is a great little lens to play with and to try out. So we may not get some absolutely superb results, but we can certainly see what we can do with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move this reflector out and we're going to put in an LED light 
which is an RGB LED tube light to see if we can get some different type of effect from this setup. So the first thing I'm going to do then uh, is I'm going to turn off the LED, which is uh, on one at the moment, so that she can have a little bit of a rest. And I'm going to give her a stool so she can sit down and relax for a moment eh, while I change things over. Okay, so that's all set up now. We have the LED tube light to one side and we're going to bring this down as well because one is going to be sitting there on her stool but a little bit more like that okay and move it back a little bit as well all right so the first thing i'm going to do it don't look at the light please one okay so 50 percent and we're going to open the lens right back up to f 1.7 now, what we can see here is the top of one's head. So something has gone wrong. Eh? Either the stool is too low or my camera is too high. So maybe it would be an idea to give one a, a bigger stool. Are you going to be able to with this stool? Yeah? Okay. So, because if not, we're not going to find the right position. So let's move that one out and move that one in. Thank you very much. And there we have one more or less perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just bring up a little bit. There we go, like that. Okay, now that also means that I need to, again, bring up this light here. And also the LED light on the other side, which at the moment is not turned on, but very soon will be. Okay, so let's check to see if they're in frame. No, they're not. Okay, so I think we can probably go even a little bit closer there. Yep. And are we still out of frame one? Yes, we are. Okay, we're going to take a portrait photo right this moment of one using this fully open f 1.7 aperture on this 35 millimeter security camera lens on my Sony ZV E10 and let's see if we can get some nice lighting there so let's move around a little bit okay we're on fully open f 1.7 and are we ready one two three and go so that's what we've got and there we have catch lights in the eyes and we also have more or less well exposed photo so what we're going to do now then is turn on this led tube light which we have an rgb next to one here let's turn that on here and let's see if we can create some atmosphere let's try and bring it in a little bit and bring it down like that and now I think we can see some type of effect. Okay, one, are we ready? Looking directly first at the camera, okay. And we can see that that LED has illuminated a little bit one side of her. So now I'm gonna ask one to look over this way so that we can get more of the LED on her face uh, and see how just by using a couple of LED lights, continuous lights, we can actually create an effect in the studio here instead of using flashes. And are we ready? And let's bring that in. And now that is looking nice. Eh? I don't know what you think, one, but I think that is looking a very nice photo. It's more moody. Uh, it's creating uh, a different type of atmosphere. Uh, we have some shadow from the other side and I really, I really like that. That is looking very, very good. So let's try working with that. Um, I might even bring that in just a little bit further, a little bit closer if I can, or at least turn it up like that to more, more towards her, which should, you know, and bring it around a little bit to the front like that. Okay, as she knows that that purple light is going to affect her 
the more she turns in that direction, well, she can play with that angle to be able to get more or less of that light on her. If you move your head a little bit like that to one side, that light will probably illuminate you more. If you turn away, uh, it's going to be on the other side. So are we ready? Let's give it a try. Let's make sure we get full focus on those eyes. There we go. And okay. And here we go with another one. Try looking directly towards the purple light and see what happens there. Are we ready? Really do like that. That is a nice photo. You can see that the focus is amazing, bearing in mind that this is just a cheap little 17 euro lens. So let's do a few more one and let's see if we can get a few nice photos from this part of the session. Are we ready? Okay. And okay. All right. And I'm going to do a one or two. I think I'm losing the focus on the eyes there. Okay, got them there. And nice okay okay so as you can see one has had a quick change and she's wearing a beautiful blue dress uh, and also changed the led light a little bit to one side which is um on a reddish color now so uh let's see if we can get some interesting results with that i'm going to turn this light just a little bit more okay and i'm going to try to move in that red light even a little bit more without actually seeing it in the shot. I don't know if we can see that. No, we can't see that. So that's fantastic. I think we've got a nice balance. Eh? So let's give this a try now then. Are we ready one? You can look to either side. Eh? Doesn't matter, the lighting is great on both sides. And let's set that focus up. That's it. So do your thing, please, one. All right. By the way, I haven't seen your nails today, Juan. What are they like? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Let's let's look a little bit more towards the monitor, for example, so that we get. All right. Yep. There we go. Superb. Let's try looking a little bit more towards this direction. Yep. That's nice. Okay. And. Maybe if we saw one of your hands across your shoulder like that. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay. And another. Move that head a little bit forward. That's nice. That's nice. Remember what we talked about the other day, the triangles? Yeah. The triangles are always what makes a photo look great. The more triangles you find in the positions, the better the photo is going to look. Okay, that's that's great. Yeah. And one more. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to take one's chair away from her now, which means I'm going to have to change things again. The lighting, I'm going to have to change it up. But it's easier for a model to be able to pose if she is standing than it is if she is sitting down. Okay, so I'm gonna to have to drop this down a little bit. Okay, if you wanna move back a little bit more one, yeah? And let's lighten up the background, move it even a little bit more, yeah? Okay, and bless you. Okay, and then we can see the dress, okay. And now what we're gonna to have to do is move the lights closer to one again. Now this is going to lighten our background. So you can see now that our background is going to be a much lighter grey. Okay, so let's see how that's looking. Okay, now we can see the red light now in the shot because we're on a wider angle. So how are we going to solve that? Maybe I can bring it up a little bit and put it overhead so we can't see it there, but I think we're still going to see the stand. Okay, are we ready? Let's give it a try and see what we've got there. And we can see 
that yes, that's completely in focus. Let's get the focus beacon back on. But I want it to be a little bit brighter. I'm going to have to move the lights again a little bit or increase the intensity. This was on 45%, remember? So we're going to go up to, there we go, we're on 60%. And that, in theory, should give us a nice light. And yes, it does. Okay. So if I now bring in that red light just a little bit more to the front, then we should be able to get the desired effect. So hopefully everything's out of shot. How are we looking one? Is that looking good? Yep. Okay. So please look up towards the red light and let's see mm, just a little bit more this way, please. Thank you. That's it. Fantastic. And let's see what we get there. Okay. So we can see then that there is some effect from the red, but very, very little. Let's give this a try and let's see if we can get some uh, nice shots. Very nice. Yeah. And again. Okay, what about a thinker? Ah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's good. Yeah. I like that, that's nice. Okay. And one more there. And let's have one now looking towards the red light, looking right up to, I'm gonna move it in as close as I possibly can without it being in shot. Is it in shot? Hmm. Can we see it? I can't see in there very well. That's okay, because we can crop that out. So I can move that a little bit closer. Yep, that's fine. Yep. That's great. Can you turn your shoulder completely towards me? Is that possible? Thank you. And then just pull it back. Pull it back a little bit more. That's the one. Okay. And you're going to have to move your head around as well. Yep. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. And. And one more there. Okay, so that was superb one. Eh? Before we finish then, let's just try and get some which are a little bit brighter. We're going to go for some brighter photos one, yeah? Uh, see if we can get just a little bit better illumination uh, from here. So we're going to have to move one forward again, all right? We're going to move this lighting here as well, like that, and make sure that it's completely out of shot. So first of all, let me check there. All right, yeah, I'm going to have to move this up again like that okay the reason i've moved one forward is because what we want to do is to darken the background and when we're using these continuous lights they spread out uh, because i'm not using a grid it spreads out and it creates uh, that lighter background here so let's move this to here like that okay and check to see if it's in frame or not and no it's not okay that's good can you just look directly at me? That's fantastic, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to turn this up, so don't look at this light one. Uh, okay, that's on its maximum now. So, I can't get any more light now because I'm on maximum on my LED, I'm on maximum on my RGB, and I'm also on my maximum aperture, okay? So, uh, I'm gonna ask one then uh, to look between the camera and the lights of the monitor, okay? And I'm also going to move this red light just a little bit more, a little bit closer to her. Here we go. Now, as we can see, this is slightly brighter because the lights are closer in towards her. And so we're getting a brighter look. So now we're going to look in this direction here. Not too much, a little bit less than that, a little bit. Okay, that's fantastic. Now, move your head a little bit forward, just a tiny bit. There we go, that's fantastic. And... Okay, yeah. again, we can see that beautiful Rembrandt lighting on the other side. Ah, now that's nice. With your head tilted like that, that's great. So if we can 
tilt further down. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's really good. Just lightly loosen your lips. Okay, and there we go. That's superb. You free flow, and I'll say I'll press the button. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Can you do that exactly the same, but in this direction? Yeah. Okay. Even a little bit more here. Yeah. That's fantastic. Just. Tighten up on that focus. One, two, three, and there we go. Okay. And to finish, we're going to put one back on her stool again. So let's put that in there like that, and up you get. It's it's a high stool. It's not a comfortable stool to get onto. I think that's quite actually. When you're sitting down, you're the same height as when you're standing up. Yeah. Do you see? More or less, we're in the same position, okay? Which means that I haven't had to change the lights, which is really useful, okay? So, are we ready? Let's get that in focus. You take the looks that you want, and let's go. Okay, yep. Now, in these last four photos which you're going to take, just slowly move your head each time a little bit more, okay? So, first one over here, then here, then there, then there, yeah? So let's get that focus there. All right, so, are we ready? Go, and... And... And the last one right towards the light as quickly as possible so I don't make you blind and and there we go so I think that basically we've been able to demonstrate how on a small 17 euro lens which is not intended for a mirrorless camera but for a security video camera we can take some absolutely superb photos I just wanted to demonstrate that for a very small amount of money, you can still get a great look. So I'm going to turn off this LED so that one can ah, breathe again. So one, if you'd like to come around here with me, please. Eh? 
Okay, so thanks very much, Juan, for today's session. Uh, as always, you are a superstar. Um, I know it's been uncomfortable. I know a lot of light on you continuously is not the best thing in the world, but I just wanted to do a short video which demonstrates how using continuous light can be effective in a studio situation. And as you saw, we were able to get using this cheap 17 euro lens, some great photos and using continuous light instead of using flashes. I loved the photos. There were some great ones there, especially using the colored RGB LED. So thanks very much, Juan. That's all for today. Thanks for being here with us. If you found this video useful and interesting, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel and ring on that notification bell to be notified every time a new video drops on my channel. Until the next time, this is Andy at Photech Video signing off. Take care and be safe.